Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the links is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Archaeologists found the trunk of an ancient fossilized coniferous tree in Greece, on the island of Lepnos. Scientists gave the age as 20 million years. The question is, by what signs was it dated, if the tree is almost on the surface? Radiocarbon analysis doesn't work that deep into the past. The trunk is also fossilized. Scientifically speaking, the fossilization process takes hundreds or thousands of years. But why hasn't the tree rotted away at the surface in that time? Wood is an organism that insects, microorganisms, and fungi feed on. In a humid climate, any trunk will turn to dust in a couple of years. Something got in the way and turned the organics into stone. These are not the only examples. Petrified tree remains can be found all over the world. Currently, is gaining popularity single-wheeled transport. Takes up little space, big wheel less notices irregularities in the road, a small spot of contact with the road less friction, less fuel consumption, or energy. Except that all this has already been. I do not even want to talk in what shaggy years have already invented a way to move the inside one wheel. Since the days when they used engravings instead of photos. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Metal Attachment Continuing to talk about Puma Punku, it is worth noting that at this construction site, as well as at the Korakancha Temple, the ancient city of Alantitambo, Urakrumi, and in ancient Egypt, a special metal fastener was used to fasten the huge stones. Archaeologists have found that the metal was poured into grooves cut into the stones, which means that the builders had portable factories. It is unclear why this technology and other methods of building megaliths have been lost. There is one impressive painting, included in an 1831 album by Faber du Four, titled Bridge Over the College. The plot is simple. On a bridge over the College River, lie the bodies of dead soldiers of Napoleon's army. Allegedly from nature, allegedly an eyewitness. Tell the painter that the bridge was burned during the battles, for which the soldiers under the command of Lamontov's ancestor even received a reward and that no one could lie on the burnt bridge purely physically, there was no place. This is just a small touch to the credibility of the evidence of an eyewitness of the events. In 1925, N.A. Grigorovich discovered a large silicon boulder that resembled a human brain. The resemblance was simply striking. The furrow between the right and left hemispheres, in the occipital part of the find, was the torcular herophily, the connection of the large sickle-shaped process with the cerebellum. Theologist Milkovich estimated the age of the layer of deposits of the Mindel glaciation, in other words, at 450 to 500,000 years. 
brains identical to those of modern Homo sapiens, for walking half-monkeys at that time, steeply contradict the theory of Darwinism. The photos taken by the German expedition in 1938 to 1939 show the giant's plain of Tibet, its ghostly walls and fortified entrance. After the return of the expedition began a debate that lasted for many decades, are these formations natural? I do not know what arguments geologists, historians and scientists make, but, in my opinion, if there is an even straight wall, of the same width, with the same towers of the same height, separated by equal gaps, it is quite a man-made structure. I suggest the critics show at least one such creation of nature on Earth, after all, if nature created these walls in the giant's plain, then there must be others. A disk of lidite found in Colombia depicts the stages of human embryonic development, and in itself is an irrelevant artifact, since no one can explain such precise detail of cell development in a time when there were no microscopes. The disk is of jade, naturally Chinese. It is made in a similar style, and is similarly dated. Who does not understand the meaning of the patterns, then you just do not understand Chinese. The moment you begin to take responsibility for what is happening in your world, you cease to be a mere seeker, and become the one who brings the truth into the world. You cannot change your memories, but you can change their meanings and the power they have over you. As you have the privilege of being alive, of loving, and enjoying yourself, you begin to heal when you forgive those who have hurt and wronged you. As forgiveness is the wisdom of love, is knowing that like you, others are seeking happiness in their lives. Like you, others are trying to avoid suffering in their lives. Like you, others have experienced sadness, suffering, and despair. Like you, others seek to fulfill their needs, dreams, and desires. Like you, others are learning about life. Brand yourself the gift of freedom. Do what you can, with what you have, wherever you are. You deserve the gift of peace, clarity of the heart and harmony. Rejoice in the blissful radiance of your own divinity nurturing the existence. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end. I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.